Former NFL football star O.J. Simpson reacts after learning he was granted parole at Lovelock Correctional Center on Thursday, July 20, 2017. Simpson was convicted in 2008 of enlisting some men he barely knew, including two who had guns, to retrieve from two sports collectible sellers some items that Simpson said were stolen from him a decade earlier. Jason Bean slash the Reno Gazette Journal via AP Poole Bruce Fromong testifies for former NFL football star O.J. Simpson, far right, during Simpson's hearing at the Lovelock Correctional Center on Thursday, July 20, 2017. Fromong, one of the sports memorabilia dealers in the robbery who put Simpson in prison, told the Nevada Parole Board that the former sports star apologized to him and he accepted it. Jason Bean slash the Reno Gazette Journal via AP Pool former NFL football star O.J. Simpson attends his parole hearing at the Lovelock Correctional Center in Lovelock, Nevada, on Thursday, July 20, 2017. Simpson was granted parole Thursday after more than eight years in prison for a Las Vegas hotel heist, successfully making his case in a nationally televised hearing that reflected America's enduring fascination with the former football star. Jason Bean slash the Reno Gazette Journal via AP, Poole O.J. Simpson became a free man at 12.08 a.m. Sunday when he was released from Lovelock Correctional Center in northern Nevada. Simpson was released from prison and out on parole after serving nine years for armed robbery, Nevada Department of Corrections spokeswoman Brooke East confirmed Sunday morning. She said he was released from Lovelock Correctional Center in northern Nevada at 12.08 a.m. Sunday, just minutes after he was eligible for release. He was expected to be taken to High Desert State Prison outside Las Vegas, but Keist said the high-profile nature of the case and public safety concerns prompted officials to release him directly from Lovelock. We had to make sure that we could do this safely and without incident, Keist said. And we did. She said it was out of the ordinary for a prisoner to be released on a weekend, but she said officials worried a media presence could prove dangerous to Simpson. Corrections staff and the surrounding communities. She said Simpson didn't want to be photographed. Just like he's been through his entire stay, he avoided media, Keist said. He was true to form. Telephone messages to Simpson's attorney, Malcolm Laverne, were not immediately returned. The former football hero, TV and movie actor, advertising pitchman, and celebrity criminal defendant, now 70 has served nine years in prison for a 2007 armed robbery involving two sports memorabilia dealers in a room at the Palace Station in Las Vegas. He maintained he led five men into the confrontation to retrieve personal items and family mementos stolen following his acquittal in 1995 of murder charges in the 1994 slayings of his ex-wife Nicole Brown Simpson and her friend Ronald Goldman. He was found civilly liable for the slayings in 1997 and ordered to pay the victim's families $33.5 million. Simpson was sentenced in Nevada to up to 33 years but was granted parole in July. Once released, he'll be subject to supervision by the State Division of Parole and Probation through September 2022. Simpson wants to serve out his parole in Florida, but at least one high-ranking Sunshine State official wants his residency rejected. This is a developing story. Check back for updates. Contact Mike Shoro at mshoro at reviewjournal.com or 702-387-5290. Follow at Mike underscore Shoro on Twitter.